This video is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores with marketing tools and powerful analytics, you can do it all with Squarespace to build online presence and run your business. Squarespace made it effortless to create a beautiful and professionally made website with no coding required at all. I like that you're able to link your social media account to your website so that all your works are connected to each other. And I am currently working on my own online store, so here's a little sneak peek. I am so excited to be sharing it with you guys once it's ready, so I hope you guys are as excited as I am. And all thanks to Squarespace for making it so easy for me to create my dream website by providing so many template options to choose from. So if you need to build a website for yourself or just create an online portfolio, give Squarespace a shot because I'm sure you'll like them. Visit squarespace.com for a free 14 days trial and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash christine to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and also supporting me and my channel. I am so grateful to be working with a brand that I've heard great things of for the past few years. I have had this plan to embroider on these pair of shoes ever since I got them which is about two months ago and I just kept putting it off because I know how long it's gonna take me and I'm kind of scared to start but today I woke up and I was like I need to stop procrastinating so I am finally gonna be starting this project today and hopefully it's gonna take me less than a week time I am pretty obsessed with Studio Ghibli and my two favorite films from them are My Neighbor Totoro and Spirited Away so I thought it would be really cute to have characters from those two films on my shoes so my plan is to embroider characters from each film on each side of the shoes These are some of the pictures that I found on Pinterest that I'm gonna be using as my reference I'm not sure whether this is enough, but we'll see. Whoa, the fabric is so... It's been almost 4 hours since I started this and my fingers hurt so bad especially these two because this fabric is pretty thick and every time I stitch I need to use extra strength to pull the needle out so here yeah, you can even see a mark there wait it took me 4 hours just to get this much done but yeah not too shabby I'm gonna go take a break right now and continue with this tonight because I've been sitting here for hours and my back is starting to hurt so yeah Bye. I think I made it a little too skinny for Totoro I'm still not done with this yet. This part right here still need to be filled and also this right left eye. This fabric is harder to embroider on than I originally thought it would be. Um, so that has definitely prolonged the process. Still need to add something else right here.
I am finally done with this side of the shoes. Today is the fifth day ever since I started this project. Now I'm gonna move on to the other side. <laughs> I did procrastinate it here and there throughout the past few days so I'm happy with my progress. I did break few needles and put my hand several times when I was trying to embroider these two parts because they are thicker than this part but after all they are finally done I pretty much used the same stitching pattern throughout the whole entire process I used backstitch method to fill in the design it's like coloring with threads which is pretty therapeutic but it also hurts my finger so yeah I'm gonna set a goal for myself and get this part done in just two days let's go the face of my little no face is now done it looks so creepy <laughs> I have decided to turn my little no face into a flower so this is my sketch and I'm gonna go fill in the petals with black threads now Say hi to Ajuma No Face. <laughs> uh, why does it turn out looking like that? <laughs> but I guess it's still kind of cute, right? It's cute. It looks a little like Bao Zhou Po from those Hong Kong movies. I'm happy with how this turns out. It looks a little more quirky rather than scary. And this is gonna be the very last thing that I'm embroidering on, so. Let's go! 